Here's a question I found on the NAP forum, and it comes from Ron Fry. He asked, I want to vignette a photograph, but instead of vignetting it to a background color, I want to vignette it to a transparency. Now, the first thing we're going to do is double click on the background to create its own layer. Then, just to give you an example of how we're going to accomplish this, let's use the lasso tool and just draw a loose selection anywhere on the background. We're going to add a 30 pixel um, feather to it. So go to Select, Modify, Feather. And from here, we, we select a 30. Now, instead of deleting the background, let's create a layer mask. And I'll show you why in a moment. If I click on a layer mask, notice the background turned to a checkerboard. The checkerboard is a transparency. Now, the purpose for the layer mask is so this is a non-destructive way of editing um, your, your image. So if I, were to delete, if I were to disable the layer mask, we're right back where we started from. So if you're working with a photograph, this is a good way of making sure you're not losing or throwing away any of the pixels or any of the images. I'm going to select a new layer or create a new layer, drag it to the bottom. Now, just for the sake of um, simplicity, if you can see what we're actually doing, I'm going to fill it with black. This will give you an idea of how when we move the layer, the, tra the transparency layer, it doesn't affect anything underneath it. Now, if we add an image, I'm going to select an image that uh, our favorite cartoonist in Canada, Monty, did for me. From here, I'm going to select uh, one of the colors, let's say the, the blue pants. Now, with what Ron was asking is the background could be changed to any color we want. So in this case, if I fill it with blue, notice the transparency kept its shape and its form. I could pick a different color and do the same thing. So that was a real quick way of showing you how with a layer mask you can create a venetting effect that can, that can give you a transparent layer.